he would come to the gym, and if it, say, he didn't get a ride to the gym, he didn't have no car, he would run. He would run across the causeway. Muhammad Ali, one of my great heroes, had a great line in the 70s when he was asked, how many sit-ups do you do? He said, I don't count my sit-ups. I only start counting when it starts hurting. When I feel pain, that's when I start counting because that's when it really counts. That's what makes you a champion. Jerry, I'm the greatest fighter that ever stepped foot in the ring. Okay, I lied. I gotta get this last run. I gotta run home, I'm gonna run as fast as I can. Okay, bye-bye. I love running, AKA, I truly despise running, but it's so good for me. So I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna say that I love it because I'm gonna trick my brain, because I tell my brain what to do. My brain don't tell me what to do. How about you? Jerry, I'm the greatest fighter that ever stepped foot in the ring. Money will be lost that night. This will be the biggest upset in the century of all boxing. I think you're a big bag of And this is gonna complete my workout. Gotta get in. And then we're Kung Fu fighting! Ah! Oh, oh my god. And then we're Kung Fu fighting! Wait! Woo! I think you're a big bag of wind. Damnedest showman that ever lived, and you ain't kidding anybody. The odds are seven to one. It's very big odds for a heavyweight championship fight. It has to be listed. Listing is a much bigger puncher. While well, these big mouth people talking about I talk too much, well, I want all of them to be there, and I'm going to shut up all of his mouth. And Cassius Clay has won after six rounds. Is not my name no more. You want to keep calling me a white man's name? I'm not white. He continues to scream at Pharrell. He beat the hell out of those who didn't want to use his name. Mr. Muhammad Ali has just refused to be inducted into the United States Armed Forces. I'm just about to trade down. I'm not allowed to work here now in America. I'm going to fight not for me. I want to live my life. But to uplift my little brothers who are sleeping in the concrete floors today in America. They want to be more famous to have people. It's a wonderful book. I'm going to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. George can't hit what his eyes can't see. All of you chumps are going to bow when I whip him. All of you. I know you got him. I know you got him picked. But the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am. Bluffed him. I done everything. Beat him up basically for about five or six rounds. I thought it was easy. Then about the sixth round, he whispered in my ear after I'd hit him in the side. That all you got, George? And never talk about who's gonna stop me. Cause ain't nobody gonna stop me. I must be the greatest. I took up the world. I took up the world. I told you, all of my critics, that I was the greatest of all time. He was not courageous enough to take risks and accomplish nothing in life. So I just finished my workout and then I met a man that said, hey, you're a runner? As I was finishing my workout with a run, I was like, actually, I despise running. He's like, oh, well, you, you look like a runner. I would have thought you was a runner. And he's like, so you continue to run because things could always be worse, huh? And I was like, no, not exactly. I continue to run because I despise it. And we also need to be uncomfortable in comfortable environments as you can see what could not be comfortable about the ocean right and so i'm telling you this right now just as a reminder that just because you fit the description doesn't mean that the description fits you no i'm not a runner no i'm not a vegan no i'm not a vegetarian no i'm not an athlete i'm, I'm pernell bobby who are you